Welcome to Health Beat Now, your ultimate source for all things health and wellness. We are thrilled to have you join us on this incredible journey towards a healthier, happier life. Each week, we delve into the latest breakthroughs, cutting-edge research, and expert insights to bring you the most up-to-date information on health and wellness. From nutrition and fitness to mental well-being and alternative therapies, we cover it all, ensuring you have the tools and knowledge to make informed choices. We believe in bringing you real-life stories, inspiring journeys, and practical tips from experts in the field, so you can witness the transformative power of health firsthand. And let's not forget about you, our incredible viewers. This channel is a community of like-minded individuals who are passionate about leading healthier lives. So, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the Health Beat Now family. Get ready for captivating, in-depth explorations, and exciting surprises. It's time to embark on a journey that will revolutionize the way you think about health and wellness. Thank you for tuning in to Health Beat Now, where we empower you to live your best life. Remember, your health is your most valuable asset, and together, we'll unlock the secrets to optimal well-being. Hantavirus pulmonary syndrome, a rare infectious disease, initially presents with flu-like symptoms and rapidly progresses to a more severe condition. This syndrome can lead to life-threatening complications affecting the lungs and heart. It is also referred to as hantavirus cardiopulmonary syndrome. Multiple strains of the hantavirus have the potential to cause hantavirus pulmonary syndrome, and they are carried by various rodent species. In North America, the deer mouse is the most common carrier. Infection usually occurs through the inhalation of airborne hantaviruses originating from rodent urine, droppings, or saliva. Given the limited treatment options available, the most effective protection against hantavirus pulmonary syndrome is to avoid contact with rodents and safely clean up rodent habitats. Symptoms the incubation period for hantavirus infection typically ranges from two to three weeks. Hantavirus pulmonary syndrome manifests in two distinct stages. During the initial stage, which may last for several days, the common signs and symptoms include fever and chills, muscle aches or pain, headache. Some individuals may also experience nausea, stomach pain, vomiting, diarrhea, as the disease progresses, it can lead to lung tissue damage, pulmonary fluid accumulation, and severe impairments in lung and heart function. Additional signs and symptoms may include coughing, difficulty breathing, low blood pressure, irregular heart rate. Seeking medical attention is crucial if you experience flu, like symptoms that worsen progressively over a few days or have difficulty breathing. Causes Hantavirus pulmonary syndrome is exclusive to the Americas. Each hantavirus strain has a preferred rodent carrier. In North and Central America, the deer mouse is the primary carrier, while the rice rat, cotton rat, and white-footed mouse also serve as carriers in specific regions. In South America, the rice rat and vesper mouse are carriers of hantaviruses. Transmission the virus is present in rodent urine, feces, and saliva. The following are potential modes of transmission. Inhalation of airborne viruses, typically resulting from disturbed rodent droppings or nesting materials. Consumption of food contaminated with mouse saliva, urine, or droppings. Direct contact with virus-contaminated objects such as nests, followed by touching the mouth, eyes, or nose bites or scratches from infected rodents. Person-to-person -person transmission has only been reported with the Andes virus strain found in South America. Viral impact. Upon reaching the lungs, hantaviruses invade tiny blood vessels called capillaries, causing them to leak. This leakage results in the accumulation of fluid in the lungs, pulmonary edema, leading to severe lung and heart dysfunction. Related diseases. Hemorrhagic fever with renal syndrome is another disease caused by different hantavirus strains, which results in severe kidney disease. These variants of the virus have additional animal carriers in Africa, Asia, and Europe. 
Risk factors. Hantavirus pulmonary syndrome is most prevalent in rural areas of the western United States. However, exposure to rodent habitats in any location increases the risk of disease. Common sites of exposure to rodent nests, urine, and droppings include farm buildings, infrequently used structures such as storage sheds, campers or seasonal cabins, campsites or hiking shelters, attics or basements, construction sites, Activities that heighten the risk of exposure to hantavirus include opening and cleaning long unused buildings, clearing rodent nests or droppings without proper precautions, working in fields with increased rodent exposure, such as construction, utility work, pest control, and farming. Complications. Hantavirus pulmonary syndrome can rapidly progress to a life-threatening condition. Severe cases can lead to heart failure and inadequate oxygen delivery to the body. The severity varies among different hantavirus strains, with the deer mouse strain resulting in a fatality rate ranging from 30% to 50%. Prevention. Taking measures to keep rodents out of your home and workplace can significantly reduce the risk of hantavirus infection. Consider the following tips. Block access points. Seal any holes with wire screening, steel wool, metal flashing, or cement. Mice can fit through openings as small as one quarter inch, six millimeters. Limit food availability. Promptly wash dishes, clean counters and floors, and store food, including pet food, in rodent-proof containers. Use tight-fitting lids for garbage cans. Remove nesting materials. Clear away brush, grass, and clutter from the foundation of buildings. Employ traps, set spring-loaded traps along baseboards. Exercise caution when using poison, bait traps, as they can also harm humans and pets. Adjust yard items, relocate wood piles or compost bins away from the house. Ventilate unused spaces. Prior to cleaning, open and air out cabins, campers, or infrequently used buildings. Safe cleanup procedures. Adhering to safe cleaning practices is essential to prevent the spread of viruses. Follow these steps. Wear a mask and rubber or plastic gloves. Spray the nest, droppings, or dead rodent with a household disinfectant, alcohol, or bleach and water solution. Allow it to sit for five minutes. Use paper towels to clean up and dispose of them in the garbage. Mop or sponge the area with a disinfectant. Wash gloved hands and discard the gloves and mask. Thoroughly wash your hands with soap and water. Two hantavirus-related deaths in New Mexico this year. The state has reported six cases of this rodent-borne infection in 2023, surpassing the average count. The deer mouse, Paramiscus maniculatus, is the primary carrier of hantavirus in New Mexico. As of now, two individuals in New Mexico have died from hantavirus infection, a rare but perilous condition. An additional four residents were hospitalized, but ultimately recovered. These viruses are primarily contracted through exposure to rodents, including their urine, and are not typically transmitted between humans. Hantaviruses encompass numerous species, classified as either New World or Old World, based on their hemisphere of origin. Most hantaviruses are native to rodents and do not cause illness in the hosts. However, certain hantaviruses can cross over to infect humans, potentially resulting in life-threatening disease. New World hantaviruses can induce hantavirus pulmonary syndrome, a severe respiratory condition. In the United States, HPS has a mortality rate of approximately 35%, and specific treatments for the syndrome are limited. The New Mexico Department of Health recently reported six cases of HPS in 2023. Two individuals succumbed to the illness, while the other four required hospitalization and various forms of critical care to survive. This increase in hantavirus infections represents a significant but localized surge compared to previous years. On average, the state typically records around five cases annually. New Mexico has long battled hantavirus due to its substantial deer-mouse population, 
the primary carrier of the virus in the United States. A notable outbreak occurred in the Four Corners region in 1993, infecting dozens and resulting in multiple fatalities. Experts advise individuals to take preventive measures to minimize the risk of hantavirus exposure. This includes sealing off any cracks or openings that mice could exploit for entry, properly storing food and trash, and using caution when cleaning up rodent droppings or nests. Awareness of hantavirus and its potential consequences can help individuals protect themselves and their loved ones from this rare but dangerous infection. Stay tuned for our next episode, because at Health Beat Now, the pursuit of well-being never stops.